I'm Paul Sleeping with WTOP. My colleague Greg Otto is behind the camera here. And we are here at Oil Mill with Joe Rafa, head chef. So nice to meet you. So, what have we got in front of us? Well, what you have in front of you are two of our taco chapalinas. It's a grasshopper, a Oaxacan style grasshopper taco. Okay. And can you tell me a bit about the dish? Is it a traditional one? Or? It is a very traditional dish. Uh, when you walk on the streets in Oaxaca, every market, every corner of every market is full of baskets of these grasshoppers. Okay. Uh, organized by size. You can have big ones. These are the, almost the smallest size. There's one size down from this. Huh. And it's, it's just part of their diet. Is it considered a delicacy or is it sort of a common food? It's or not a delicacy. It's inexpensive protein. Okay. So, and it's just, it's almost bar food for them. Okay. They will just sit there and pop grasshoppers. Now, have you heard about this movement of eating more bugs? Absolutely. Uh, it's sort of a new movement in the U.S., but it's normal pretty much everywhere else. Are these this is common around the U.S., or have you seen these before in D.C.? These are not common at all in the U.S. Uh, we're the only restaurant that I know of anywhere near here that serves these. Yeah. They're hard to get. And now, I read in the uh, piece in the New York earlier this week that uh, it said that bugs in general are about four times more efficient to produce than sort of conventional meat. Does that kind of come into play, do you think, in terms of serving these? Well, when it, and not in terms of serving them, but in terms of why people eat them overseas. Okay. Uh, you don't need to have a farm to raise bugs. Okay. You need to have a field that has something they'll eat, like alfalfa. Yeah. Uh, which is where a lot of the bugs that are raised in Mexico are caught or in alfalfa fields. Uh -huh. uh, they don't take a lot of equipment. You pretty much need a net. Uh -huh. So it's not an intensive farming operation. It's just they're part of nature and you gather them. And are these sort of a, sort of a nutritious? Or? They are very nutritious. They're very high in protein. Okay. So they're good for you. Huh. Great. So can you tell us a bit more specifically about, about this dish? What have, what have we well, got here? When the grasshoppers are caught in Mexico, they're very quickly boiled just for a minute, and then they're dried and toasted on a comal, which is like a flat grill. Okay. And then, you know, a little flavoring might be added, a little lime, a little salt, and then they're bagged, and okay. that's how we receive them. When we cook them, we saute them with a little bit of shallot, a little tequila, a little chipotle chili, and that's it. Okay. Uh, the taco is served with a little guacamole on the bottom, very traditional way to do it, and that's it. It's very simple. You let the grasshoppers, the flavor of the grasshoppers do the talking. And what should I expect? I have to admit, this is the first time that I've eaten a bug before. Expect lemony, meaty, salty. Okay. Is it is it like something that I would have had before? It's not is like it, anything you've ever had before, taste like but it does not taste like chicken, but you know what? If you don't, if you close your eyes, you're not going to have any idea that you're eating a bug. Interesting. All right. Well, will you join me? Sure. Is that from the grasshopper? Mm -hmm. We had no salt to it at all. Really? And you said that you get these from We from get them from Oaxaca. It's interesting. And is it sort of, in terms of things being imported from that far away, is it more expensive, less expensive? It's very expensive. Really? Uh, and not that the grasshoppers themselves are very expensive, but the process of having somebody down there get, get them for us, mm -hmm. box them, ship them here, they're not cheap. Wow. Which is probably why you don't see them very often here. Well, they're delicious. They are. Do you get people order, ordering them often? And them? Actually, of the 11 tacos we have on the menu, this is pretty consistently the third or fourth most popular. Really? And people Which always is a know. little surprising. Uh -huh. And it's fun when you're watching the food being ordered over the course of the night, you'll see a table order one of these tacos, and you are pretty certain they're doing it on a dare. You look at me, I'm going to eat a grasshopper. Mm -hmm. But then the same table orders the second and the third grasshopper taco, huh. and you know they're hooked on it. And that's always fun. Do you think it's people ordering them more for the novelty, or have they heard In of the dish before? Well, they, they have them? heard of the dish, and on the occasions when we run out of them, and sometimes you do, because supply lines to Mexico can be a little tenuous on occasion, yeah. people get really upset that we don't have them. Mm -hmm. So we try to minimize that as much as we can. Interesting. Great. Well, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.